up in workers Whoa. cats is trying to reproduce as they're just finishing a bunch of drones there probably going to resaturate this gold in just a second there we are he's also researching neural parasite once again that hive and that spire so we will eventually see those blue books come up again here in a second but i gotta say select and after zero are in quite a bit better position this time around to uh defend themselves they're putting up a much much better fight this time uh, against uh cats all these void rays though so you can make life very difficult you can probably see tons and tons of fungals here in just a moment if cats on the trigger trying to move in there and the fungal does have a decent range there he does the range he splashes on those void rays to hold them in position, but oh, all those red marauders are getting kicked off now as well from the leg. And yeah, the professor is just the star of the show right now. They don't really have any support. That so good, man. Uh, no matter what matchup, team, individual, one v one, whatever, investors are amazing. Look just the way those void rays melt. They're going down one after another, and this is turning the supply pretty significantly. Oh, wait a second. Cats is down to 60 supply because there is a big drop here in the back of his gold. At the same time, there's actually a drop going into his main. He can get that unit down. He does, as a matter of fact. So he'll start attacking that queen as fast as he can. Uh, but there has been a couple of pretty significant harassment opportunities here. And Drewby, he's almost mined out of his main and such. So this is actually going to be relatively difficult for him. Let's take a look now. Cats down to 41 supply. So he is getting cleaned up pretty effectively. Wow. Yeah, 200 supply is about 125. Uh, Some Sun is taking a big lead after this little series of engagements and drops. Katz has not expanded beyond a second base. He's trying to take a third one now, sort of in the middle right side of the map. But uh, I don't know if how long that's going to last and if uh, Sub Suns can actually continue to siege their way across the map into that natural area. I don't think Cats and Drippy are going to have much option left. But there is a greater spire coming in now for Cats. He's got six corruptors in production, so maybe some Miracle Broodlord timing will help out. But I think all those uh, Void Rays and Vikings still in the air for Sub Suns to actually handle those Broodlords. And see some sort of heat, so some important structure must have died. Evolution Chamber or yeah, something. Yeah, the Evolution but, Chamber. Um, yeah, Optic Zero and Select. Right now with no opposition. Yep, absolutely, and we do see the fleet beacon coming down as well now, so did catch that before it was constructed this time around. Uh, there we go, Optic Zero finally taking another base. He's taking the opposite goal as well, doesn't want to have to deal with that tree. Select and Zero look like they're going to push their way in, though. Drewby is seized up as fast as he can. Doesn't have that much supply left. He's trying to rally all of his units together for one big push. He's got a bunch of dead SEVs that are doing nothing at the moment. There are a couple of infestors here to help in this attack along with these Vikings. But it looks like, oh, the way Optic Zero and Select are moving away into the base right now. So effective. All the production for Drew can be obliterated. Yeah, and I don't, I'm just kind of scanning across the thing that looks like that command center even got canceled that Drew is trying to place it. Towards the point of no return, he's got a base with no minerals in it and no production structures. There goes that orbital command lifting off. Again, kind of a pointless effort there, but there are broodlords in the sky now. Fully charged void rays should probably melt through them like a knife through butter, but... Uh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that is going to be the end of this game in just a second, as soon as Captain Drew realize that they are... I, mean, I guess they literally have the potential to clear off that first round of units, but then Select has this giant force. He's going to run to the back of Cat's base. Cat's trying to run away as fast as he can, dropping down his fungals. He's making efficient use of his fungals, but that's not going to be enough. As, look at that. I mean, that is three pages. I mean, that's basically the entire supply of Cat's and Drew right there. It's all in workers. I wish I saw just like a big size one right there. On that. <laughs> the 100 workers there. That would have been very, very cool to see, but... Uh, Optic Zero obviously didn't need any because he's got his mothership halfway done, he's still got Void Rays in the air, and just two Marauders and a Marine can ruin Cat's day at this point. He just does not have enough to fight back. Here come nine Mutalisks actually to try and pop out and save uh, Cat's probably back at his hatchery. I'm not sure what he's going to be able to do. He might be able to pick off a tank or two. Uh, not even clearing out his name right now. Mothership and Void Rays still going to be here soon. There's just no production for Drewby. He's basically setting worthless to leave five barracks in his main right now and no units. Yep, and looks like there's the GG. So Supsons is going to tie the set up one game to one. We're going to head into the rubber match of that game here in just a second. Staying alive. That's what it's about. <laughs> you uh, cannot. Uh, 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 stay alive. I, was, I didn't do that intentionally. Uh, 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 stay alive. <laughs>
I'm sorry. But no, that's okay. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so. <laughs>